Battle spinning tops are cool, but do you want to know what's cooler? Battle spinning tops that do flipping tricks. So today, I am going to attempt to learn 10 Beyblade special moves in real life. Now, it only makes sense to start in order, so I'm going to learn 10 of the first special moves seen in Season 1 of Beyblade Burst. Those special moves being Vault Rush Launch, Flash Launch, and Winged Launch, Ken's Chain Launch, Shu's Counter Break and Upper Launch, Daigo's Quake Launch, Walkia's Shield Launch and Shield Crash, and finally Xander's Dual Savers. Now these moves are awesome in the anime, but in real life they like might not work, but I, I promise I will literally sit here on camera for hours launching these Beyblades until we get something that at least resembles their special move. Um, and anyway, now that we got that out of the way, let's just get started. First off, we have Bolt's signature special move, his first special move, the Rush Launch. And I remember in the anime, it was like this huge deal when Bolt learned the Rush Launch. I think it was against Rentaro in episode one, and it kind of like signified Vault as like this genius blader, but in real life, the rush launch isn't that hard. It's just like a classic flower pattern. You just tilt the launcher slightly forward and launch your Beyblade. Anyway, the rush launch is a launch where Vault lowers his launcher to cause Valkyrie to ride the stadium slopes and hit the opponent's Beyblade with a barrage of attacks. I'm getting these special move definitions from Beyblade Wiki, by the way, so I'll have their link in the description. Anyway, the rush launch shouldn't be too hard to perform, so let's go to the stadium and let's see if I can do it. So again, the rush launch is pretty simple. All you do is tilt the launcher slightly forward and then launch the Beyblade, and then the Beyblade moves in a flower pattern like this. It's probably one of the easier special moves we have on this list. Also, if you see uh, the Valkyrie Beyblade's not moving very aggressively, that's because I'm not using a completely awakened variable tip, just because uh, it's very hard to do a rush launch with a completely awakened variable tip. It'll just like go everywhere around the stadium. Three, two, one, go shoot. Ragnarok, three, two, one, go shoot. Rush launch Valkyrie. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, again, rush launch is just a tilted flower pattern with like a barrage of attacks. If it doesn't burst Ragnarok, I'm gonna be very disappointed because everything bursts Ragnarok. There we go. All right, I think we did that first try. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully the rest of the video goes like this or I might be like sitting here for hours on end trying to do Beyblade special moves. But yeah, I think that's the uh, first special move down. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we have Vault's second special move, the Flash Launch. Now, instead of doing the Flash Launch in this video, we're gonna try to do the Ultra Flash Launch for the sole reason that it's easier to perform with the worn out variable driver. Anyway, it's basically a launch that makes Valkyrie gain momentum by riding the ring of the stadium and causes an extreme collision with the opponent's Beyblade. The only difference between the Flash Launch and the Ultra Flash Launch is that the Ultra Flash Launch again rides the ring of the stadium, while the Flash Launch doesn't. So yeah, I got my Valkyrie, let's go to the stadium. So the Ultra Flash Launch is our next special move. This time I do have a worn down variable. Uh, now how you do this is you just have the launcher parallel to the stadium floor and you should be able to perform the Ultra Flash Launch, although with the extreme worn down variable it might go crazy and actually start doing the winged launch. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is launch the Beyblade uh, slightly slower. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the full powered launch. This is the full powered launch. As you see, it just goes crazy and like hits the stadium walls. It kind of performs the wing launch. But what you have to do with an extremely worn down variable is you just have to launch it like slightly lighter than normal and then it should do the ultra flash launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. There you go, as you see, um, it rides the stadium ring and it is pretty powerful. Anyway, the poor Beyblade that had to go against Vault's like main character powers when he first learned the flash launch was Wakia and Wyvern. So we are of course going to put Wild Wyvern against Valkyrie and try to do this ultra flash launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. There's Wyvern. Three, two, one, go shoot. And there is the ultra flash launch. That was kind of a wing launch, but it was still pretty sick, but I'm not gonna count that because that was kind of, actually that was like the, whatchamacallit, that was like the ultra wing launch or whatever, right? <laughs> We kind of already did another one of Vault's special moves. Whatever, we'll do that one later in this video. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There's Wild Wyvern. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And there is... Oh my god, that is so sick. We just keep doing the winged launch, but it's so cool. 
You know what? I'll just add the wing launch in. Okay, I'm gonna explain the wing launch real quick. Um, the wing launch is basically a launch that causes Valkyrie to ricochet off the stadium walls multiple times, causing the Beyblade to become more powerful after every impact. So that is the wing launch, and as you saw, we just did it, but now we are gonna try to do the flash launch, the launch we're actually trying to do. Go shoot, Wyvern. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, there is... Three, two, one, go shoot. There's Wyvern. Three, two, one, go shoot. And there is... No, it's not. This is not good, guys. We are gonna sit here for literal hours trying to get Beyblade special moves. Three, two, Wyvern, just go to the outside of the stadium so I can use my dumb launch on you. Three, two, one, shoot. Oh my god, no, that was the wing launch again. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, another, like, wing launch. It was sick. <laughs> but not the launch we're trying to do. Shoot. Shoot. Bruh. Shoot. I mean, kind of. Still kind of the wing launch. Oh my god, that was so cool, though. Sit here on camera for hours. goodness if wyvern just like went more towards the outside we would have had it no no i'm gonna be sitting here for like 30 more minutes straight to launch these dumb beyblades no wyvern I've literally been sitting here launching these two Beyblades for like 15 minutes now. <laughs> yes! 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 That was the flash launch, the ultra flash launch. Did it work like it was intended to? Yes, but did it did it win? No, it absolutely lost, but that was the special move. Okay, next one. I don't care anymore. It doesn't need to win. It just needs to work. That was the ultra flash launch. Let's move on to the next one. We are finally done with Vault's special moves, so let's move on to Ken's special move, the chain launch. And thank goodness Ken doesn't have like three special moves like Vault, because I, I really don't want to be sitting here forever. Anyway, so uh, how Ken performs a chain launch is he basically launches Kerbius, and Kerbius uses its chain-like layer to counter opponents and attack them, chipping away at their stamina and defeating opponents with weak defense. So yeah, the chain on the layer does the work for us, and we really don't have to do anything, so this should be a pretty easy launch. Alright, this one should be fairly simple. All we do is launch Kerbius. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Alright, there is Valkyrie, and there is Kerbius in the anime. I said it was gonna be easy, and then Kerbius explodes. How does Kerbius explode? Valkyrie, you're not even fully awakened, and Kerbius is like one of the best defense-type Beyblades. Ah! All right, take two. Three, two, one, go shoot. Kerbius chain launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. And there is Valkyrie. All right, can Kerbius win this? This was supposed to be like an easy launch after like the flash launch, but we'll see. It looks like the chain launch is actually working. It looks like Kerbius does have superior defense, obviously, compared to Valkyrie. And the winner of the battle is Kerbius. That was a chain launch, guys. Can we get a round of applause? Good job, Kerbius. We are finally going to perform the special move of the best character in all of Beyblade, Shu Kuranai. Now, Shu Kuranai's signature special move is the counter break. The counter break is basically where the rubber on Spriggan's tip makes contact with the stadium floor, causing Spriggan to increase in speed and hit the opponent's Beyblade. So it's basically just like a counter attack with the rubber on Spriggan's Unite driver. It's really cool in the anime, and I have seen it happen before in real life because I use Spriggan all the time, so hopefully we can get a really cool shot on camera. The counter break shouldn't be impossible to get, but the problem is Spriggan, at least dual layer Spriggan. I know 
know all you like new guys are used to Spriggan having amazing teeth, but Storm Spriggan has like the worst teeth in the game. It bursts against everything. So the hard part is going to try to do the counter launch without Spriggan breaking. Or uh, not the counter launch, uh, the counter break. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. For the counter break, Spriggan needs to be in the center of the stadium. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And then there's Kirbyus, the Beyblade that- Oh, that was- that was almost the counter break. That was almost it. Did you see that, guys? That was almost it. Ah, I think Spriggan needs a bit more spin uh, to, do, to do the counter break at this point. But at the beginning, it almost had it. It moved slightly across the stadium. As you saw, the rubber hit the stadium floor. But in the end, it wasn't really able to do a counter attack. It kind of just moved to the side. But I, I, maybe this won't take forever. And Spriggan didn't burst that battle. We have, we have hope, guys. We have a ray of hope. That's all I need at this point. Three, two, one, go. There's Spriggan. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And there's Kirbyus. All right, this is the first battle in the anime where Shu showed off the counter break. So let's see if it can do it again. I feel like the counter break is much easier to get when it's versing like an attack type Beyblade rather than a defense type Beyblade because counter break, it kind of uses its opponents like momentum against it. And if you're using like a defense or stamina type Beyblade, you don't really have that much momentum. I mean, Spriggan won, but um, it didn't really do the counter break. Go, shoot. All right, oh, there we go. Oh, that was almost it. All right, there we go. Oh my, oh, 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 hit him, please. Please hit him. That was kind of it. That was kind of it, right? I'm gonna do it again. Maybe we can get an even better counter break. Cause that was a really cool counter break, but the problem was Spriggan kind of moved around the stadium before hitting Kirby. So I kind of want like a really clean counter break. Like in the anime where like uh, Kirby is hit Spriggan and Spriggan goes shoom, and hits Kirby is back. <laughs> I don't know what the sound effects are guys, but just go with the flow. You got it. Do it. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, there's no way counter breaks happening out of that battle. Go. Three, two, one, go. Alright. Oh no. Curvius is launched kinda of weakly, but let's see if the counter break can happen. It's not happening. Go! Go! Oh my gosh, Curvius is not going off my launcher. Go! That's the upper shoot. Go. Three, two, one, go. Alright, oh! Oh, that was the counter break! That was pretty good. That was a pretty good counter break. Let's see if we can get another one in this battle. Come on, Curvius, hit Spriggan hard enough. Ah. All right, that was pretty good, but it wasn't as intense as I wanted. So we're gonna try to go for another one. I've literally been sitting here for 10 minutes, guys, by the way, trying to get this. All right, let's try again. We're, we'll try again. I will sit here all day until this counter break happens. Go. Oh, oh, oh no, it almost hit Curvius. Oh, that would have been so cool. Oh, all right, can it happen again? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's happening this battle. No, 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 no. And now, a montage of how much Noah has failed to do the launch. Oh, that was kind of it. Oh, oh, hit him, hit him, please. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, push. Curvius. Three, two, one, go! Alright, that's an upper launch. Three, two, one, go! Two, one, go! Oh my goodness, my launcher is getting messed up. Two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Alright, let's see the counter break. Please, Curvius, please! Please! The answer is no, it won't. <laughs> Guys, I am flipping sweating. I've been launching these Beyblades for like an hour now. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. We're only on like the fourth special move. Oh my god, and Kirbyus won't get off my launcher. Two, one, go. Ow, my hand. Dumb Beyblade. Alright, let's 
see it. Come on, please. Please do the counter break. I guess it just doesn't want to. Guys, I've never been this mad while recording a video. <laughs> so. All right. Hit him hard. Hard enough for him to do the counter break? No. Oh, oh, that was it. That was it. That was the counter break. Yes. Finally, finally, guys, we got the counter break. That was so sick. Although it didn't burst Curvius like I wanted, it was still a really cool counter break. And as you saw, it was a very cool counter attack. So if Spriggan wins, I think we can move on to the next Beyblade. But if Spriggan loses, I might have to keep on going. Spriggan, please do not lose. Yes, okay, Spriggan won. Let's move on to the next Beyblade special move. That was a lot more painful than I thought, but hopefully this next launch isn't as painful. Next, we have Shu's second special move, the upper launch. Uh, the upper launch is basically where Shu launches Spriggan, and Spriggan attacks the opponent's Beyblade from below by using the slopes of the stadium. It shouldn't be too bad. While I was struggling to do the counter break, I ended up doing a few upper launches. So yeah, let's see if I can do it again. Basically for the upper launch, it's fairly similar to the counter break. You want to launch as hard as possible, except for the upper launch, you kind of want to aim for the outside of the stadium. While for the counter break, you want kind of want it to be in the middle of the stadium so like a baby could hit you and you could counter attack. And maybe also for the upper launch, you might want to tilt your launcher slightly forward, kind of like the rush launch, but we'll find out. Anyway, um, I'm gonna launch Valkyrie first, and again, uh, Shu's first battle where he used the upper launch was against Valkyrie. That final battle in, I think it was like the district tournament. It was really cool. That's one of my favorite battles in the anime. Anyway, let's get this started. Hopefully, it won't be as long as the counter break. Through to shoot. There's Valkyrie. Through to shoot. And there is the upper launch. Oh, we got it first try. That was the upper launch right there. As you see, uh, Spriggan went from the outside outside the stadium, use the slope to go inward and hit Valkyrie from the inside. And yeah, that was, that was the upper launch. We did it first try. Let's move on to the next launch. Next, another easy special move. We have Daigo's Quake Launch. Daigo's Quake Launch is basically where he uses Death Scyther's unpredictable movement and speed to deal a large amount of damage to its opponent. So yeah, it, it's basically just Death Scyther. Let's go to the stadium and launch Death Scyther. Again, like I said before, the Quake launch, um, there's really nothing we can do to amplify the Beyblade. It's basically just that the Beyblade has like unpredictable movements and it's fast, and there's no way we can make the Beyblade faster or give it more like unpredictable movements. So all we have to do with Death Scyther is just launch it hard so it uh, goes as fast as possible, and that's really all we can do. So no matter what we do, we can't fail. All right, and I like not failing. Anyway, let's go. It's against Valkyrie because that's the battle where Death Scyther uh, kind of uh, displayed his special move. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. There's Valkyrie. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And that is the Quake launch. Whoa, that was sick, actually. That was so cool. It, like, jumped. It really is unpredictable. And it, it really is fast. <laughs> if it loses, I will be mega sad. But don't worry. Um, and one. Anyway, let's move on to the next launch. Next, we have Walkia's special move. And let me just say, I absolutely love Walkia. Walkia is like one of my favorite characters. Besides Shu, he actually might be my second favorite character. Uh, but yeah, his special move is the shield launch. It's a launch that angles Wyvern so that it can successfully claim the center of the Beyblade Stadium and shield itself from upcoming attacks. So it's basically just a launch where Wyvern goes to the center. Also, something really interesting is the first time we saw Walkia use this special move was against some random guy named Haruto, which I think is really funny because his name sounds like, I don't know, like Baruto's dad's lost son. Uh, anyway, Haruto used King Kirbyus or Kaiser Kirbyus Force Jaggy, and yeah, we haven't really seen him since, but I think his design's pretty cool. Anyways, go to the stadium, I'll test it out against Haruto's Beyblade, again, Kaiser Kirbyus Force Jaggy, and let's see if we can get this special move down. 
thank goodness this launch is also fairly easy. All we have to do is launch Wyvern in the center of the stadium. I think for that, I'm just not going to launch it at full power. I'll do somewhat of a weak launch. And again, the Beyblade we're going to be using is Kaiser Kerbius Force Jaggy, the combo that that random Beyblade character used, although he does have really cool hair. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. That guy ah, stop moving. Shoot. It hard to get the orbit driver just to stay in place because it is a ball driver three two one go shoot wow this is a lot harder than i thought guys <laughs> go shoot maybe if i launch it hard no launching it hard doesn't work it moves around the stadium like crazy we need it to go like exactly to the center of the stadium when we launch it for us to call it the shield launch shoot. stop moving go shoot i think i'm gonna stay here for like another 30 minutes guys just launching wide part. Three, two, one, go shoot. No, no, this can't be. No, stop it. Stop moving. Just stay in the center. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that was the shield launch. I was just starting to lose hope, but... I mean, I still did the shield launch. It lost, but I still did it. I was just starting to lose hope, and then it happened. All right, that's pretty sick. Let's move on to the next special move. On to Wakia's second special move, and definitely cooler than the shield launch. The shield launch just, like, went to the center of the stadium. We have the shield crash. Now, in the shield crash, Wyvern takes its opponent's attack and uses the momentum of climbing the Beyblade Stadium slope to crash head-on with the opponent. It's basically like a pendulum, and I think the first battle it was seen against was against Volts and uh, Valkyrie, not like not random Haruto. Anyway, so yeah, let's go to the stadium and let's see if I can do the shield crash. All right, another special move with Wyvern. So basically, for uh, the shield crush, we just need Wyvern to move kind of towards the outside of the stadium and back in, hitting the Beyblade in the middle. So hopefully, we can do that. The Beyblade we're going to be putting against is Valkyrie because that's just the Beyblade that Wyvern. First was seen using this special move on. Let's get started. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh my goodness, that was so close. It almost had it. If Valkyrie just didn't hit it out of the stadium, it would have like went back in and smacked it. <laughs> Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, you got this. Oh, that was kind of it, but not really. I feel like Valkyrie was kind of like the aggressor in that situation. Three, two, one, go shoot. Alright. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, oh! That was it! That was kind of it! Okay, that was kind of it, guys. You gotta give me that. It did go to the outside ring of the stadium and crash forward into Valkyrie. And then at first, Valkyrie, you know, we're gonna call that the shield crush. Let's move on to the next special move. And finally, we are on to the last special move of this video. We have Xander's Dual Saber, which is debatably the coolest special move in Season 1. Dual Saber was so sick, and every time it, like, worked, it literally, like, burst the Beyblade into oblivion. It was amazing. Anyway, I'm sure everyone knows Dual Saber, or in Japanese, I'm pretty sure it's called uh, Double Impact. Basically, Dual Saber is where Xeno Excalibur's layer shifts its sword tip point to align perfectly with the tip on the magnum disc, increasing its striking power two folds against the opponent's Beyblade. So yeah, let's go to the stadium and let's see if I can do this amazing special move. So the Beyblade we're going to be putting Excalibur against is Ragnarok. I think the Beyblade that Excalibur first used dual saber on was Valkyrie. This is not Valkyrie. <laughs> was Valkyrie. But um, we're going to use Ragnarok because I think it's the second Beyblade dual saber was used on. And it's just a lot simpler as a stamina type Beyblade. Anyway, the way we're going to tell if Excalibur used dual saber is after it bursts Ragnarok, we're going to flip it over and see if the disc aligns with the layer. And if the disc aligns with the layer, we're just going to classify that as a dual saber hit. Anyway, let's get this started. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. There's Ragnarok. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And there is Excalibur. Oh my god, it is so powerful. And let's see. Oh no, it was not a dual saber hit. It was one hit away from being burst. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. The power of Excalibur. It's just a powerful Beyblade. Like when I look at it, I just like quiver in fear. 
Oh, and there's the burst. Let's see uh, the clicks on Excalibur. And it was a dual saber hit. As you see, the layer does match up with the disc. So yeah, I think that was the last special move. All right, that was all 10 Beyblade special moves in real life. If you guys like this video, remember to leave a like and a comment because it, it was really painful. And if you guys want to see a part two to this, maybe we'll do like 10 more special moves from season one, or maybe we'll do 10 special moves from season two, the God series, like Vault's Spring Launch or, uh, or Drain Fafner's ability to steal spin. We might do those special moves as well. So yeah, just leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you guys want. And if you guys didn't enjoy the video, just tell me like, don't do this ever again this was so lame i hate seeing you like yell at beyblade 24 7 anyway so yeah see you guys later have a nice day left burst out